What will power our future? How will we heat our homes? Light our cities? Deliver energy for industry and innovation? Find fuels to drive our machines? Build our highways and carry our goods? There's no single solution, but there is a proven technology that can do all these things and more. Protecting our environment, generating new jobs, securing energy for America's future. Gasification is an environmentally friendly way to transform any carbon-based raw material without burning it. Instead, you create a chemical reaction by combining refinery waste, coal, forestry wastes, or even trash with oxygen and steam under high pressure. This process breaks everything down into molecules so you can safely remove any pollutants or impurities. What's left? is a clean synthesis gas you can use to generate electricity, create liquid fuels, fertilizer, or chemicals. Gasification was chosen as a technology in the late 70s following the Arab oil embargo. At that point in history, there was a uh, challenge for us as a company and as a nation uh, for energy security. And I think we are faced with a very similar challenge at this point in history. This facility is consuming about 2,000 tons in a day of petroleum coke and converting that to megawatts, which is enough to light about a quarter of a million homes. We have operated on various coal feedstocks as well as petroleum coke, which is simply the very residual bottoms product from refining a barrel of oil. There are other fuels, any real carbon-based fuel, municipal solid waste, biomass, are all applicable to the gasification industry. The technology has been around for a long time. We remove the contaminants, we clean the gas, and then that clean gas can be used for several different applications. You can generate power if you feed it to a turbine instead of natural gas. You can make it into a natural gas and then you don't have to make any changes to your turbine. You can make pipeline quality natural gas and pipe it right into people's homes to heat their homes. Gasification gives us a very real way to wean ourselves from some of the foreign dependence we have on energy supplies. From an energy security and certainly a national perspective, the United States needs to be able to use our own coal, of which we have 25% of the world's reserves, in order to displace some of the energy that we're using from other parts of the world where we send money to much less stable governments and governments that we're not sure what they do with that money. I think we're fooling ourselves to say that we will no longer use coal when 50% of the power in this country is served by coal. We need that energy, but I think that you need balance between looking at economic development and environmental benefit. And gasification technology is just a, a very logical, practical way to get there. The true benefit in addressing coal is really how it's processed. If you do put it into an open boiler and you burn it, then the mercury goes up the stack and the sulfur goes up the stack and the soot goes up the stack. But with gasification, you really have an opportunity to capture it all and selectively choose the parts you want to keep pre-combustion, where you're at pressure. It's easier to separate the molecules, pull out the good stuff, separate the bad stuff. Separating the bad stuff is a key benefit of gasification. Unlike coal-burning plants, gasification can capture carbon dioxide, the leading greenhouse gas, before it goes into the atmosphere. Then the carbon dioxide can be pumped and stored deep underground. We use proven technologies that have been used for decades to find these storage sites. These are the same technologies that have been used by the oil and gas industry in the exploration process to find oil and gas fields. And we have the technology that allows us to look into the earth, to visualize what's down there, to find secure places to put it, and then we couple that with 
monitoring technologies that allow us to verify over time the fact that that CO2 remains in place safely. There's also a market for CO2. It can be piped to older oil fields in the U.S. and Canada to help recover oil that would otherwise be left behind. That's exactly what's being done at the Great Plains Sinfuels plant in North Dakota. This is part of the largest carbon dioxide capture project in the world. And it's used in oil fields in Canada for enhanced oil recovery. So it's uh, giving a, uh, almost a dual benefit. It's a byproduct for the, the gasification plant here, to provide a revenue source, and it's also helping uh, to extend the life of oil fields uh, up in Canada. The best part is that gasification technology is ready now to create domestic energy from domestic resources. There is a huge potential for replacing some of these end of their life pulverized coal plants that have been around for 50, 60 years. And certainly we're going to need to pay close attention to that, replacing this infrastructure in the United States. And gasification definitely needs to be part of our portfolio. It offers solutions, it offers jobs, it offers economic growth, and it's very clean. Gasification is a way, I think, for us to keep our jobs in the United States, uh, enables us to use the materials we have right here domestically and convert them into the products that we need here for America. And like I said, just keeping a lot of jobs in the U.S. Why isn't gasification better known? The plants are expensive to construct, but once built, the investment pays off. And the coming regulation of carbon dioxide will change the economics of power generation. Because compared to coal burning plants, gasification can capture CO2 much more efficiently and cheaply. All of us want to build these plants, but we want to know what will be the laws that will be in place to tell us what we should do with the CO2. We as companies want to comply, we will comply, we just need to know what those laws are. And so that's what's kind of holding some of us up in developing projects. If you're truly interested in clean energy and if you're interested in environmental protection, doing gasification in conjunction with carbon capture and storage is a wonderful way to go. It certainly reduces a lot of the pollutants that you have. There's the opportunity for carbon capture and storage, which you don't have with, with the old technologies. And for those coal-producing states that are going to continue to generate electricity with coal, this is a great option. Gasification is safe. It's environmentally friendly. It's a technology that is well commercialized, well practiced, and it can only get better in the future. How do we meet the challenges of energy demand and climate change? Gasification offers us tremendous opportunity. It's proven, environmentally friendly, and uses our abundant domestic materials. Along with solar and wind power, gasification will be a big part of the solution and America's energy future.